all the way into next week. You're right. This is going to be a slow moving storm too. So areas right along the coast could see quite a bit of rain and this this moves inland. We can't forget about those towns inland. You're right, Lynette. Now the Gulf Coast is bracing for the arrival of barrel and it could be hurricane strength when it makes landfall again. Weather Channel meteorologist Molly McCollum is on the ground in Corpus Christi, Texas, watching developments. She joins us live now. Molly, are people preparing? I know all eyes are on this storm where you are. You know, let's look at the forecast here when we're talking about barrel and it is going to to move quite slowly. So we are going to look at quite a bit of rain across the Texas coastline. Of course, this could change depending on where we make where the storm makes landfall. So right now with the current forecast, it looks like the bulk of the rain will be between Corpus Christi and Houston could see five to eight inches and you can see that extends well inland. This part of Texas has received quite a bit of rain. We're ahead for our uh, annual rain. So we could see some flooding with this. Um, we're also going to see the storm surge right along the coast, and so this, the fresh water is only going to add to. So Sunday into Monday, we'll look at the possibility of flooding. You can see that anywhere from the Texas coastline on into southwest Louisiana. It gets more inland by the time we get into Monday morning, Tuesday morning. You're looking at places like San Antonio, Austin, even up into Dallas, getting a little, a lot of rain, and then even farther north as we head Tuesday morning into Wednesday morning, the possibility of flooding extends a little bit farther east with the current track heading north and then east. So we're going to be watching this closely. Again, any little movement in the track is going to alter all of these rain graphics as well, uh, but just something to watch. So severe thunderstorms possible uh, with the storm. You know, we also see some brief spin ups as far as tornadoes are concerned when you're talking about hurricanes, Lynette. So that Torcon is in there as well, a three right now on the Texas coast. All right, if there's a number, there's there a risk now. out there. You're right, those areas in Texas could start feeling those tropical storm force winds within the next 24 hours. So we are getting down to the wire here. We're gonna be watching this. I am standing, of course, uh, around Houston where we're looking at those showers that are going to pull on shore Saturday. Uh, this is into Sunday afternoon. So we'll start to see effects, see some showers uh, as early as tomorrow midday. And then we'll see the rest of the rain come on shore Sunday evening into Monday. Monday morning, you can see just torrential downpours across the city of Houston and all of the areas. We're talking about Galveston Bay. We're talking about Bay City, uh, anywhere west of Houston as well. So we could see as much as three to five, even five to eight inches of rain around Houston uh, Metro. So we're going to be talking about one to two uh, for the GFS model rain to come tomorrow through Wednesday. So the models are still disagreeing a little bit as to where this is going to go. And as we've mentioned earlier in the show, depending Depending on the track, it's all going to depend on who gets the most rain, right? But let's talk about the wind forecast based on the track that we have now. We could see 30, 40, 50 mile per hour winds. This is Monday during the wee hours of the morning and then could see as high as 50 mile per hour winds, Galveston, Freeport, even Bay City. Look inland, Katy. 60 mile per hour winds possible. So we could see some power outages down trees, of course. So we're going to be watching this very closely. Of course, we're going to continue to track barrel. We'll have much more after the break. Recommend it. Yeah, that's some great advice. You know, it is going to be tempting holiday weekend. It is a Saturday. People are going to want to um, put it off, but it's, it's you shouldn't. You should just get things done now and get ready for the storm. Thank you, Molly, so much. We'll check back in. So humans aren't the only ones heading to higher ground this storm. Better. Let's show you exactly what we're expected to see. Of course, this could change depending on the track. You know, things are still evolving with this storm, but based on the information we have right now in the current track, it looks like five to eight inches of rain are possible anywhere from say Corpus Christi to Houston and this extends pretty far inland. This is going to be a slow moving storm so you have to think it's going to dump a lot of rain and a lot of these areas especially across say from Houston to Dallas already saturated. We have seen a lot of rain already in the last couple of months and so here we go expecting more rain. Adding to that along the coastal areas you'll get that storm surge so you are going to get that plus the, fr uh, the fresh water uh, flooding. So Sunday morning, Monday morning, possibility of flooding right there along the coast. And then as we get into Monday and Tuesday, you can see that goes inland. And we're still going to be talking about the rain by the time we get into Wednesday. So that's just showing you how slow moving the storm is going to be. But it does extend up into the mid-Mississippi uh, River Valley uh, by the time we get into Wednesday. So we'll be talking about places well inland by then. Also, there is a severe storm threat when you're talking about hurricanes or tropical systems coming on shore. We also expect a possibility 
possibility of tornadoes. So we do have a Torcon of three across these coastal areas from Rockport all the way up to uh, near Beaumont. And that includes Houston. Of course, this could change depending on the track of a uh, barrel. So severe thunderstorms on Monday. Continuing for places around Houston all the way down to Galveston, extending into southwest Louisiana. So we are going to have the possibility of those brief spin ups there as well. So what happens when you are trying to take shelter from a tornado as well as flash flooding? Well, the best advice is to get to the lowest dry level, most interior room of your home. Of course, call 911. Do not get in your car and risk drowning in your vehicle. That's probably the worst thing you can do, Lynette. But all we can say is just be prepared because the storm is coming and conditions will start deteriorating as early as tomorrow. Yes, and keep it tuned to the Weather Channel. We'll have